Well, here's a question for you. If you could skip out of work for a year, maybe two, and travel to every continent on the map, would you do it? A pair of lifelong friends from Switzerland are doing just that, and right now their trip around the world has landed them on Vancouver Island. A news reporter Gord Kerbis has their story. They're living the adventure most have only dreamed about, traveling to every continent on the planet and documenting every step of their way through videos and photographs. We want to share our dream to travel the world, which may meet a lot of people because it's the dream of so many people. After two years of planning and with a budget of 100,000 US, the two lifelong friends set out to travel the globe. They began their journey in January of 2008. Uh, so far, 32 countries we'd been and travel about 100,000 kilometers and yeah, explored almost all the continents. Just South America is missing now. Their track recently brought them to the north end of Vancouver Island where the experienced divers enjoyed God's Pocket Marine Park northeast of Port Hardy. They have now more than 700 dives all around the world and that cold water diving up there is just the best ever. Before they left, they spent 3,000 hours customizing their 2005 Land Rover. But the attention-grabbing vehicle is not only their transportation, it's also been their home. I always we stay in the car, like almost every time we have a shower in the car, we cook in the car. This is our home, where we stay for the last two years and seven months. That's the way why we can afford it to travel as well, because it's cheap. Cheap, but also because in many locations there are no hotels. In fact, in many instances, they've gone to places where no tourists have ever gone before. And for the most part, it's been smooth traveling, but there have been some anxious moments. Scary moments, traffic-wise. Sometimes you get a surprise in the night and you hear something which sounds like a weapon and it makes the scary a little bit. But any downsides have been more than made up for by the number of friendly people they've met along the way. Like this pair, the men met along the edge of an active volcano. Traveling the world, you get another perspective about all the countries and all about what it is. Because they've enjoyed their traveling so much, they've already extended their trip once. When they finally do get off the road, they hope to put together a documentary to help others learn from their adventure. We want to tell the people, live your dream and don't dream your life. That's all about, about the car and we do so many things and it's like, yeah, we want to share it to the public. To follow their progress, you can catch up with them on their World Travel Team group on Facebook. In Campbell River, Cord Kerbis, A News.